the sword in the stone king arthur tale part 2 Yet far away there was a quiet place a good knight sir ector lived in peace with his two sons his first son was named kay his younger son arthur had been adopted as a baby years before a stranger had come to sir ector with a baby he asked if sir ector would raise the child the old knight took the baby in his arms glad for a second child he named the baby arthur and raised the child as his own when arthur was 10 years old the same stranger returned to sir ector's home he could read and write and so sir ector hired him to teach his two sons k could not sit still for lessons and he stopped coming but arthur listened with wide eyes he learned everything i bet you have guessed by now who that stranger was none other than Merlin the magician at the end of each day when arthur finished his chores that was time for the lessons merlin would sit with arthur for hours and teach him about the world arthur was a thin lad not strong like his big brother kay merlin did not have to worry about that he said what mattered was most to have a heart that was big and strong Merlin saw how the birds foxes and deer followed Arthur he could see that the boy had a very big and strong heart by the time Arthur was 16 his brother K had become a knight he was now called Sir K Arthur loved nothing more than to serve his brother as a squire he kept great care of his brother tunic and helmet his spears and lances one day at lesson time Merlin looked away he stood up what is it said arthur the people need hope said merlin arthur there is something i must do i must go now